Okay, in summary, um, what did we talk about? We talked about amplifiers and what's the most important things about amplifiers that we need to know. Basically, we didn't go into calculating a bunch of resistor values. We didn't go into calculating um, DC biasing. We just, you know, we just know that it's there. We are aware of these different things. But if you were to look at an amplifier, you're going to have amplifiers have two key things. They have an AC input and an AC output. And they also have a DC supply voltage. And they also have ground. Okay, so you just think of an amplifier as a box. This is what we've been talking about. Okay, so we talked about the different types of configurations. We had the common emitter, the common base, common collector, the advantages of each one. For instance, the common emitter has the best power gain. The common base had the best voltage gain. The common collector had the best current gain and was also very good at impedance matching. The common emitter also had phase reversal. Sometimes phase reversal doesn't matter. Sometimes it may be needed, but usually it has no uh, direct effect on a circuit. Um, we also talked about the calculations. Okay, so we have an AC signal on the input. We have signal on the output. The gains are always gain represented by A always equals output divided by input, whether it's the power gain, the voltage, or the current. And I believe that's about it. Um, next we will go through and we'll do some calculations in the lab. We'll go, go ahead and do some measurements using multi-sim and NIDA or some hands-on equipment.